two British 18-year-old women were the targets of an acid attack by men riding a motorcycle on the Indian Ocean island of Zanzibar late on Wednesday night, police said, Kirsty Trupp, from Hampstead, North London, and Katie G. both suffered injuries to their faces, chests and hands, and were transferred to a hospital on the Tanzanian mainland where their injuries were described as mild. They were in the final week of their trip, working as volunteers at a charity art program on the island a popular tourist destination famous for its white sand beaches and spice plantations. They were attacked as they walked in Stone Town, the island's capital, on Wednesday evening at a time when the streets were deserted as locals broke their Ramadan fast. Kirstie's father Mark Trupp, a dentist and company director, said from the family home in Hampstead, North London, We're trying to get them back as soon as possible. We're trying to organize a medevac flight, a La Cohen, 21 said, Katie was attacked two weeks ago by a Muslim woman for singing on Ramadan. She was shocked as it just came from out of the blue, but she wasn't scared enough to come home she stayed out there to finish her trip and volunteering. It's a very difficult time for their friends and family and I just wish them well. Both are very nice girls who wouldn't hurt a fly. The two women were treated at the Aga Khan Hospital in Dar es Salaam. A doctor at the hospital who was part of the team that attended to the teenagers said that their injuries were mild. We suspect that whatever the liquid was, it was not true acid, it may have been diluted, he said. They have burns on their hands from wiping the liquid off. They have minor injuries on their chest and their necks. Considering it could have been very bad, what they have is quite mild. They were shocked, of course but they are not feeling very bad. It is expected that the two women will return to Britain on the first available flight. The teenagers were on a trip organized by Kent-based I2I Travel. A spokesman for the company said, they were flown to Dar es Salaam in mainland Tanzania for medical treatment and have now been released from hospital. All our efforts remain focused on ensuring they are supported whilst assisting them and their relatives with the arrangements for their return home. I2I Travel is working with the authorities in their investigations and continue to liaise closely with the British consulate in Tanzania. The motive for the incident is as yet not known and we will await the report from the local authorities in Zanzibar before any comment can be made. The female all clients had been volunteer teachers on Zanzibar and were in the final week of their trip. The safety of our customers is of paramount importance to us and our own investigation will be launched as soon as it is possible to do so and more information will be released as it becomes available. Two men on a mope drove past the pair and the pillion passenger through the liquid at the British women before speeding off. Police in Zanzibar have launched a manhunt, and we ask for public assistance in identifying the attackers said Mkadam Kamis, the island's deputy police commissioner. The attack on the women came at the end of the Muslim holy fasting month of Ramadan, and as people began to celebrate the Eid holiday, the motive for the attack on the volunteers aged 18 years, has not been established. Investigations are on until we apprehend the criminals, Mr. Kamis said. Zanzibar has long been a favored holiday destination for foreign tourists and there have rarely been tensions between the majority Muslim population and holidaymakers relaxing in bikinis on beaches or drinking in bars. Recently however there have been a series of attacks targeting representatives of different religions. These include an acid attack on a Muslim cleric in November, and the shooting dead of a Catholic priest in February. Another priest was shot and wounded in December. The semi-autonomous Zanzibar archipelago lies 20 miles off the Tanzanian mainland. A spokeswoman for the Foreign Office said, We are aware of an incident and are providing consular assistance. The Foreign Office travel advice for Tanzania warns that although most visits to the country are trouble-free, violent and armed crime is increasing. The advice on its website says, Mugging, bag snatching, especially from passing cars, and robbery have increased throughout the country. It adds, in Zanzibar incidents have taken place in Stone Town and on popular tourist beaches.